Brooklyn Nine Nine. Uh, yes. Uh, this is very exciting. Uh, terrific show. You're in. Thanks. What season is this? The this fifth is the season. Fifth season. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. It's exciting. You're getting at the. Thanks. Thanks. Season premiere. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, I definitely, you know, would be remiss if I didn't say I really need everybody to tune in to the season premiere last night at 9.30. Yeah. You said last night. Yeah, you gotta watch it last night at 9.30. Uh, it was on right after the Mick, please tune in. Okay, so you're telling us it was yesterday's episode. Uh, yeah. How do you, you want people to watch yesterday's episode? Yeah, well it's important to not watch it, you know, like on Hulu or on demand or something, because then you don't get to see any of the commercials. Right. So what you want to do is watch it last night at 9.30. And how do you want people to watch last night's episode? I think kind of however you feel is right. I mean, probably the easiest <laughs> is to just build a time machine, just go back and check that out. Andy, who the hell knows how to make a time machine? Well, I do. It's actually really easy, Conan. You see, you first take a nice hot bath with some fragrant <laughs> bath soaps and lots of candles. You gotta de-stress. <laughs> then you get your hands on a medium-sized blob of plutonium. It's gotta be a blob, not a cube or a severe, a blob. Then stick the blob of plutonium in a toaster oven, set the toaster oven on low, like you're reheating a slice of pepperoni pizza, not mushroom, pepperoni. <laughs> then tie the toaster oven to a kayak. When you tie the toaster down, use a crazy knot like a sailor would use. The crazier the knot, the better, so time travel can't figure out how to untie it. Time travel is a wily bitch. <laughs> then slather yourself in green goop so you maintain your size and shape during the time travel process. I recommend Stouffer's brand. The same company that makes frozen dinners and stuff like that? Uh, yeah, you can find it in the time travel aisle. <laughs> Get in the kayak and go to Radio Shack where the employees will ask you to leave because you're all covered in green goop. And then you can sue them for discrimination. After you win a lot of money in the discrimination lawsuit, you can use that money to buy a time travel machine. <laughs> then go back in time and watch last night's episode of Brooklyn Nine-Nine and those sweet, sweet commercials. Wow, I'm glad I asked you. Pretty straightforward. Check it out.